Good evening, I'm Siwapili Rose Amador and this is Native Voice TV. Well, tonight we're going to learn a little bit about the peace and dignity journeys that will be going on in May. So at this time I'd like to have you introduce yourself. How's it going? Uh, my name is Alvaro Ferreira and I'm one of the coordinators of the Peace and Dignity Journey in the Bay Area. Um, peace and Dignity Journey started uh, about 1990 during the uh, Continental Conference of Native Nations. Um, basically what ended up happening was at this conference there was a vision from the elders that would said that uh, the eagle and the condor would be reunited and uh, the continent would be reunited where all native people would be united through this sacred run. So uh, this is uh, the culmination of this prophecy coming to life. And, and how many runs have there been now? There have been since 1992 which was the opening run Four runs. Ninety-two. This is the fifth run. I, yeah, I know we had someone on, I guess, four years ago. Yeah. When you had the last one. And uh, you, you were telling me earlier they come from all parts of the uh, continent. Yeah, so they come from all parts. They come from all parts of the continent. This year is going to be one of the uh, biggest runs we've actually had. Um, we have a group coming south from the uh, northern tip of Alaska, coming all across the coast, all the way down through California while we have another group coming across the Midwest through the Trail of Tears. We also have a new uh, route that's coming across from um, New York. Wow. After, uh, after a few months of running, I believe we start in May. Um, about July, we're gonna meet up in Arizona and uh, cross that imaginary border into Mexico and, and meet up with uh, the rest wow. of our native brothers and sisters. So now the group from the East will come or all the groups will be meeting there? All the groups from, uh, will be meeting there. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a quite a large uh, Well, that takes some timing and some undertaking. <laughs> yeah, uh, we've been working on it for four years. So wow. uh, we've had four years to work on it, and uh, this is a culmination. Now, how many will be going from the Bay Area? On the uh, we actually, this is actually an open invitation to anyone who'd like to participate in now, the Bay Area. Do you have area. to run, or can you walk, um, or what's the? Uh, really, we welcome anyone who's willing to participate and lend a hand. It's not necessarily someone that has to run or walk. Um, support mm -hmm. is, is basically what we need. Support in any way, shape, or form that someone can provide is more than welcome. Mm -hmm. um, we will be running through uh, the Bay Area, Oakland, and San Jose um, in the early first week of July. I believe it's going to be July 7th and 8th, where we'll be running through San Jose. We're going to be okay. staying here a couple days, so we're asking everyone to come and support. Uh, I believe we're going to be having a ceremony at the Gardner Center um, on the 8th of July. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. I, four years ago, we went out and saw the runners, and that was pretty exciting. But uh, we'll have to keep our audience posted as to where the runners are at and so they can make sure they're out there. And so what's the route through San Jose? Do you know that yet? Um, we're taking uh, just major streets. I believe uh, the main route's gonna be through International Boulevard from Oakland to mm -hmm. San Jose. Mm -hmm. Then from San Jose, we're gonna be running to Indian Canyon, okay. which is a uh -huh. very, very sacred site. Um, that is actually um, the theme for this year's uh, mm -hmm. Peace and Dignity Journey, is sacred sites. Every four years, we have a different theme. Um, the first uh, the first run was uh, honoring our elders, and we also had uh, honoring our women, honoring children and the youth. And this year uh, we're honoring sacred sites and, and our Mother Earth, because uh, as we know there there are a lot of, like really bad things going on right mm -hmm. now, and um, our Earth is crying and she's in pain. So we're putting this prayer out and trying to unite the prayer from all the nations to to help in in the healing. Of our mother. Right, and that pretty much affects everyone throughout the nation. But do the um, the runners, say from Alaska, come with their prayers for things that are going on in their areas and the people from the East Coast and so forth? Yes, uh, actually, um, as the run goes along, uh, we carry eagle staffs and sacred mm -hmm. instruments and sacred objects from each uh, community that we stop, and they have us carry the prayer um, with them, uh, with us through the journey till uh, we unify with the South in Panama in November. Wow, that'll be exciting. And how many do you expect to be there at the, the final 
leg of the run? We're expecting a few hundred people to, to be there at the very end of the run. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's a small group of what they call core runners mm -hmm. who are starting from the northern tip of Alaska. Um, but usually as we go along, um, people feel compelled to, to join the run and they take uh, time off of work or school uh -huh. or whatever it is they have going on in their lives to, to join the run whether it be for a day or a week or... That's what I was going to ask you. So say when it comes through San Jose or they might want to join up in Oakland or just run through San Jose, that's possible yes, that too. Is, yes, that is perfectly okay. Like, we, like I said, um, any support uh -huh. in any way anyone wants to be able to be there and help us is greatly appreciated and welcomed. And if someone can't go on the run, how else can they support it? I mean, by feeding people or donating money or cars or what? Actually, uh, last the last run in 2004, we estimated um, the cost was about $250,000 wow. to, to put this together now. Uh, because we have a couple of new routes coming from the East Coast and uh, gas prices are very, very yes. high now. Um, we're estimating it's going to be costing about $400,000 this year. Wow. So. Um, we're heavy in the fundraising right now. This is our, our time to fundraise and try to get things um, mm -hmm. put together so we can actually make it all the way down. Now, do you have a website where people can, well, yes. how would someone donate? Actually, we do have a website for uh, the San Jose area and mm -hmm. Central Coast area. It's uh, Peace and Dignity San Ho at yahoo.com. Um, they can contact us anytime, we get more information and okay. find out how they'd like to get involved. Okay. And you can also contact us at Native Voice TV and we'll forward the uh, information to you. Because um, we definitely want to be there to cover it, if, if not take a few steps. You know? <laughs> actually, we're doing something uh, brand new that we haven't done before. And we're actually tracking the run day by day where uh, people can get on the website and see where we've where we've gone and uh, how much, uh, how many miles we've covered like That's throughout great. the day. So people can keep up with us and, and see how we're doing and send their prayers. And well, you be, there, you'll be giving word back to, we need this at a certain place or we need this kind of help. Yes, uh, uh, there's con uh, things constantly change. So mm -hmm. there's constantly uh, new things that we need and different challenges that, that arise during, during the journey. So Wow, you're gonna have a lot of heat in Arizona in July. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's going to be like 120 yeah, degrees. Yeah, we're going to be running through the desert oh <laughs> in the wow. middle of the day. But uh, that's that's all a part of the prayer and that's a part of the ceremony. So. I hope you have a lot of first aid. <laughs> 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 Something for blisters and some ice. So you're a runner. Yeah, uh, I've, I've been running for uh, some like 12 years now. Wow. Okay. Uh, the thing is, I never really realized what running meant until I got involved with peace and dignity. What does it mean to you? Uh, it's, a, it's something more than just running. It's something like very, very spiritual. It's something where I just thought I'd like to run. <laughs> but what I realized was after I run for an hour, hour and a half, I was getting myself in a very deep meditation and I would find myself just wanting to be out in the forest running all day and mm -hmm. really being able to put like my prayer out there and forget about like this material world and mm -hmm. be able to be out in, in nature and put prayers out and meditate. So it, it's, it's definitely changed me. Oh, and as they say, good. once you go on this journey, you don't come back the same. Like you, you I come back, imagine that. You know, come back a completely different person. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Now, how many of the people that are going actually ran the last one or have run before? Uh, we have a really strong core group of people that have made the entire journey. Um, wow. We're having a ceremony um, starting, uh, what is, June 10th. Mm -hmm. That's going to be going to um, Arizona. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be having a ceremony from there. Um, they're going to be headed up to, uh, to Alaska. I'm guessing it's a good 15 group of core people. They're going to be doing the whole journey. Wow. <coughs> yeah. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. So where are, they going to, where are you going to stay in San Jose? Uh, you know what? We're still working that still out. Still working on that. Yeah, huh? we're still working that out because um, <coughs> we have a large group of people, mm -hmm. so we need to find a place that can accommodate like such a large group of people. We'll find lodging, food, all, all those things that 
pretty much essential for You'd us. You'd like the YMCA or something. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone works at the YMCA that's watching this, we uh, need a give contact us a there. call. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. So if anybody has any w any way they can help, or if you want to come on the run, be sure and yes. you know, con and give us that website again. Uh, it's peace and dignity sanho at yahoo dot com. Um, basically, uh, I send I forward out emails and keep people posted on everything that's going on. Okay. There's also a MySpace page for the peace and dignity journey where they can get wow. update okay. updated information on fundraising events that that go on throughout the state and pretty much uh, throughout the United States things like that if anyone wants to get involved, wants to be able to support that way and go to one of our fundraisers mm -hmm. or maybe just write a check, which is awesome That's too. right, you had a fundraiser, there was a fundraiser last time I remember in San Jose, it was kind of a, uh, an auction type yes, thing. Yes, yes. So maybe you'll be doing that again yeah, this so, year. Uh, we're, we're looking at uh, a variety of different options mm -hmm. to, uh, to fundraise. We had an art auction a few weeks ago that went very well. Um, since I'm a student at the university, uh, we're getting funds from the university in the form of a grant oh, to help great. us out. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, the community's coming together to help us out, which is really wonderful. Well, maybe one of these large corporations will help out us. <laughs> They've been destroying the earth anyhow. They should <laughs> help out and pay back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> help out. Yeah, so, okay, so you go to school where? I'm a student at UC Santa Cruz. Uh, I'm, I'm a senior, so this is my last quarter. Good for so you. I'm pretty much done. And your plans are? Uh, I'm starting a nonprofit organization. Uh, basically, it's going to be a scholarship fund for students of color. Because mm -hmm. as, as we know, the uh, university system really isn't um, established for, for students of color. Mm -hmm. um, we're minorities in general, but once we get into the university system, we're even more minorities and uh, we're marginalized. So what I'm trying to do is start a scholarship fund for um, students that don't have the financial means mm -hmm. to to survive at, in a university level. Basically, um, my, my nonprofit's called uh, The Race to Educate. Oh, that's, that's a good This name. whole running theme. Uh -huh. That's <laughs> so a good thing. So I'm going to have a series of events, uh, five and 10K races throughout uh -huh. the state uh, to raise funds for uh, students who... Well, you have to keep us posted on those too. I definitely will. I'm may gonna not run, maybe walk <laughs> real fast or something. <laughs> Whatever we can do. So on on the um, journey now, there's a lot of different nations that come together. Yes, um, <clears throat> nations from all over the United States are coming together to to be on this journey. Um, we have, like I said, people coming from across and walking or running the original Trail of Tears, yeah. and we have uh, nations that are are not uh, like federally recognized also like coming mm -hmm. helping some mm -hmm. support like um, some of the Bay Area nations, the Costa Luan, mm -hmm. the Mawekma. Okay. They're, they're coming out and, and supporting us a great deal while we come through um, Central Coast and the Bay Area. And you're going to be staying in Indian Canyon? Yes, we'll be staying in Indian Canyon uh, and having ceremony there which okay. is going to be very very uh, special to, to all of us. Oh, that's a great place. Yeah, it, it's definitely a very, very um, powerful spiritual place. It sure is. Yeah. Now, do you have any idea about how many people will be in Cal in this area when they get here? By the time the runners get here, we're hoping we'd have somewhere around 50 to 60 uh, core okay. people that are in the area. Hopefully, when we leave the San Jose area, we're hoping to have a good 80, 90. Like I said, um, everyone's welcome, and uh -huh. we'd really like to support, and we extend that invitation to anyone who'd like to participate, whether it be running or walking a mile or mm -hmm. even just, like, providing some or water. Just feeding or, yeah. people or uh -huh. having water. That, that's really one of the major things is making sure, like, the runners are, are fed mm -hmm. and, and taken care of where we can rest and, and regenerate and get our energies back for the next day. Because um, we're, we're covering anywhere from 50 to 80 miles a day, wow. which is, yeah. It's a lot of running. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I guess there's going to be some real difficult places. Well, even coming from back east at that time of year, it's really hot. Thanks. Probably California is the coolest, right? <laughs> or Alaska. Um, yeah, I mean, weather is one of the major issues that we have also. Mm -hmm. like, like you said, we're going to be running through the desert in the middle of July. Mm -hmm. um, and once, once we cross into Mexico, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of desert running, wow. which is going to be like major issue for for a lot of us. But uh, we can do it. We're strong. We can do it. What's well, been done before? Yeah, exactly. And once you're there in Panama, how long do you stay there? 
Uh, we stay there pretty much as long as we like. Once once we're in Panama and we, we have our, our unification ceremony, uh -huh. um, some people decide to stay and decide that's it. They, they've made their choice. They're staying in Panama. There's no way they're coming back to the United States. Really? Yeah. Some uh -huh. people have decided to stay. Some people decided to uh, continue south uh, and wait for the next four years to run from the southern tip of, of South America north. So we have people that have been in South America for four years, wow. waiting for this moment to, to come back. And, uh. So you're, now they run north to where? To Arizona, wow. like where they, everyone's we, meeting? Or? We all meet in Panama after right. six months of running. Mm -hmm. So the group from the south, or group from the southern tip of South America, they start their journey a little bit earlier mm -hmm. and they start running north and uh, the unification happens in Panama. Oh, okay, okay. So they'll just wait for the next, that's so, yeah, interesting. It, yeah. Life changing. Yes, it, like um, some people, they, like I said, they don't come, they don't come back the same. Some people um, just completely like detach from this material world because we don't have any possessions while we're running. Right. All we have is a bag and some clothes and mm -hmm. some water. And, that's in that's prayers. in our prayers, and that's our life for for four to six months. Wow. And when we come back, it's hard to um, it's hard to come back to this world. I and, bet it is. Yeah, it's it's hard to come back to the city, and live this fast-paced life, where you have all these things like money issues and mm -hmm. how am I going to feed myself and all these things, when we've been running and the communities have extended themselves to us and they've been feeding us and taking care mm -hmm. of us. So there have been stories of people who've come back and want to live in a tent in their backyard for like a month just to be able to come back and... Just to readjust. Yeah, to readjust. Wow. Well, I wish you a lot of luck and, of course, keep us posted on where you're at and, you know, we definitely want to join the San Jose part of it. Definitely. And see how we can help. So please, if you have any way to help out, if you want to join, give us a... A call or email us at nativevoicetv at aol.com. Put you in contact with Alvaro. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you very much. And now we'd like to listen to some native drums. We've had a lot of different drum groups on the show over the last few years. We put a little bit of them together so you could kind of review some of the things you may have missed. So why don't you sit back and listen to the drums? Oh, yeah. 
I hope you enjoyed those. From time to time, we're going to be showing you little clips of past shows. And you can also see them on YouTube. Just type in Native Voice TV and you'll see a lot of those uh, little clips from past shows. Um, we were just talking about the Peace and Dignity journey that's coming up in May. And you can go to Peace and Dignity, or I'm sorry, email Peace and Dignity Journey at sanho at yahoo.com. Sorry. <laughs> I think so. If you want to help out. And remember to pick up El Observador. This is their new format. It's a new, uh, like a magazine format. They've gone green. And they're also a sponsor of Native Voice TV. They'll put a lot of the uh, announcements for different indigenous activities in the community. So make sure you pick up a copy and see what's going on in the community. That's very important for us. The other thing is ARP. Don't forget the uh, Divided We Fail campaign because Divided We Will Fail. And it's very, very important that you log into www.aarp.org and click on the United. It's actually Divided. They have the wrong slide up there. So take that away. It's Divided because we know Divided We Will Fail. <laughs> but uh, that's the incorrect one. Um, but the thing is, we want to support candidates that will um, have health care for everyone that will look after the people that don't have you know all the advantages and um, the people that have been getting elected have not looked out for everyone and especially indigenous people so we want to make sure for one that we vote it's so important that we vote because if we don't vote we say native voice we won't have a voice so we definitely have to get out there. We have to register. We have to vote. We have to get people, the kids, as soon as they turn 18, make sure they register, make sure they vote. And you know, it's important to read about the candidates, see what the issues are, learn the issues, and make sure you, you, know, you, you vote for candidates that, uh, people that represent your neighborhoods, that represent your, your cities and your, you know, your state, because those are the ones who make the decisions that'll decide your future, your fate, the fate of your kids, your health care for your kids. So that's why we ask you to support ARP, because ARP is really looking, you know, you think of ARP as being, when you get older, you know, I thought, oh, no, I got my art card in the mail. But, you know, it's really that it's looking out for welfare of families. And that's what we're, you know, that's what we care about, the welfare of our family, of our kids and future generations. So we have to make sure that we support our too, because they're looking out for us as well. So, Alvaro. He goes, oh, no, I thought I was done. You're not done. <laughs> I want to know more about you. You said you're from the L.A. area. Yeah, I'm from the L.A. area. What brought you up to uh, northern? You went going to school here, but yeah. why Santa Cruz? Because Santa Cruz took me. So uh, <laughs> they're, they're basically. It's a nice place up no, here, though, actually, isn't it? It's actually a very nice place. I think I spend more time being out in the woods than I do being in it's class. It's beautiful. <laughs> but you've done very well. You're graduating? Yeah, I'm graduating uh, this quarter. I'm, I'm done. I'm ready to go, ready to pay off some uh, loans. Yeah, that takes a while, doesn't it? Yeah. But uh, what you're doing as far as starting scholarships for youth will really help educate more indigenous kids. Yeah, and the thing is, um, I feel we need more people who are willing to um, be in those um, ranks of power. They want to mm -hmm. be the lawyers. They wanna, That's right. They want to be in like, some type of political office where they can like, make some type of difference. So enabling them to like make it through college is, is my goal. And I feel that's my, that's my debt to, to society. Oh, well, that's great. That's what we need. We need more educated people, more educated kids. And we need people in elected positions and in office and representing us. And we need to make our own decisions and you know, our own fate instead of letting someone else do it for us. Exactly. And that's why, you know, it's, it's good that you as a young person are active and already saying how you're going to help some, someone else, you know, come through the ranks, someone else get an education and, you know, pass on the baton. So thank you for all the work you do. And we'll be with you out there on the, the uh, 
the journey and maybe not running, but we'll be there and Spirit will be there in some way to support you and hopefully the whole community will come out to join you. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next Sunday. Good night. Children's eyes, indigenous soul, indigenous soul. We're alive because we survive. Indigenous way, indigenous way. I'm in the hearts of my children.